Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel structures in STAD Pro for both strength and deflection limits. For this particular video, we're going to be focusing on specifying the strength design for this sample structure. As you can see, I've already generated the load combinations for both strength and serviceability for this particular model. Now at this point, I'm moving on to focus on my strength design. And when doing both a strength design and serviceability, we will need to tell the program which load combinations to use for which check. The way we do that is by specifying a load envelope. Now a load envelope is a group of load cases that are going to be set under a single moniker. So let's go ahead and create our load envelope that will be used specifically for our strength design checks. To do that, we can go to our load and definition dialog, select the load envelopes option, and click the add button. Here we'll be able to create a load envelope with any of the previously defined load cases or load combinations. I'm going to tell the program that this is a strength load envelope, and I'm going to select all of my strength load combinations. I'm going to start with my first load combination that represents my strength. Scroll down until I find the last one. And if I hold down the shift and control key, click the last one, that will select everything between those two cursor marks. At this point, let's move these load combinations over to the selected window. Once we're done, let's go ahead and click the add button and let's click close for now. And here I can see my load envelope for strength design has been specified. Now the next thing I need to do is to go ahead and tell the program that any checks I add from here on out will be using this envelope until I tell it otherwise. To do that, we need a load list envelope command. Okay, what this does is it basically says, use these group of load cases until I tell you to use something else. To find that command, you can go to the Analysis and Design tab of your ribbon toolbar, and you can find your load list option. Here, I'm going to tell the program to select an envelope, and I'm going to choose envelope number one. Now, eventually, I will have more than one envelope in this particular model. The second envelope will be representing the load combinations I want to use for serviceability. Once we're done, let's go ahead and click OK. And now we're ready to specify our design commands for strength design. To start that process, let's go to the design tab in the workflow page control area. And I'm going to scroll down. And what we'll see is the last command that we have here is the load list envelope command. To start the strength design portion of my design process, you're going to start by selecting the code that you're most interested in. Here I'm going to select the AISC. 360-16 standard. Now, in addition to selecting your code, you're also going to define all of your appropriate design parameters. Now, for this particular model, I'm going to assume that I want to assign my method parameter, and I'm also going to assign the yield strength of steel. To start that process, let's go through the Define Parameters dialog. In the Design Parameters dialog, the first design parameter I'm going to select is the method parameter. Now the way this dialog works is that whichever parameter is currently highlighted or specified in the dialog is the default and will automatically be considered unless you specify otherwise. Here I'm going to enter a design method that is consistent with the load combinations I generated. I'm going to select LRFD, click the add button. And in addition to that design parameter, I'm also going to be specifying the yield strength of steel. Now 36 KSI is the default yield strength of steel when you select the AISC 360-16 specification. My particular model does have some wide flange sections and some HSS rectangular sections. So I'm going to go ahead and specify the appropriate yield strength of steel for those types of members.
Now in a typical steel design workflow, what you're going to want to do is review all of these design parameters and then specify anything that would be appropriate for your particular model. For this model, I'm going to assume that I'm done specifying my design parameters for strength design. So let's go ahead and click close. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and assign the necessary design parameters to my model. Now I'm not going to go ahead and specifically assign a yield strength of steel to my angle members because again the program is going to automatically assume the default of 36 KSI which is appropriate for these particular members. Now that I've specified my design code and my design parameters for the strength design for this particular model. I'm ready to go ahead and invoke my design command. To do that, let's go to the steel design dialog again and click on the commands button. For this particular model, I'm going to be doing a code check. This instructs STAD Pro to check whether the provided section properties of the members are adequate. So this is basically a pass or fail workflow. Once we're done, let's go ahead and click the add button and then we will click close. Here I will then go ahead and assign this design command to all of the appropriate members in the model. For this particular model I'm going to go ahead and perform a design on all of the members that were specified using the AISC sections database. At this point I'm going to go ahead and save my model and I'm ready to move on to telling the program to perform a serviceability check in addition to this strength design check. If you found this video helpful please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.